This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza with RV and Travel Adventures. How are you doing this afternoon or evening or morning? Whatever time of day it is. I'm comparing the Jackery Explorer 1000 portable power station, its battery chemistry with other manufacturers out there. A lot of folks are uh, touting the benefits of the Jackery Explorer 1000, saying it's very lightweight. It's easily charged uh, from uh, various sources, from solar panels, from plug it into a 12 volt socket to your alternating current at home or at a RV site. So it's very lightweight and it has a lot of options. It's very compact. I think it's an excellent product. But you must understand that it has a very modest cycle life. Essentially the life uh, before you uh, it becomes like only 80% of its original uh, you know capacity. Okay, So the lithium manganese cobalt oxide formulation for uh, Jackery is supposed to only last 500 cycles, okay? So essentially from 0 to 100, if you did that, you know, discharge it to 0 uh, 500 times, it would lose its capacity and only allow you to use it at 80%. Then eventually be 60%, then 40, then 20, then 10, then it, you have to replace the battery. Compare that to Relyon, for example. They have a 2,000 uh, cycle life, and that's four times more than the Jackery. That's significant, don't you think? And the Battleborn has a 3,000 to 5,000, or six to 10 times more life than the Jackery. Renogy is eight times, Ames Power is also eight times, and Green Life claims to be four to eight times. So you have to decide if you're going to spend $1,000 on this uh, piece of equipment. It's a very nice piece of equipment. I would love to have one. And uh, have to replace the battery in three, four, five years, OK? In all probability, if you use it intensely, you use it a lot, you use it a lot to power your CPAP machine or whatever, or you know to power your uh, electronic components at, in, in your RV or campsite, it may last you know, only two, three years. That's your money. It's one thousand dollars, so that would be three hundred and thirty-three dollars plus tax, license, and uh, and <laughs> I'm just adding the license part. Uh, you know the cost for this unit. So what do you think? This is my uh, little review, my little uh, comparing the Jackery Explorer One Thousand portable power station, its battery crisp, the chemistry and cycle life with brands like Relyon, Battleborn, Renogy, Ames Power. Green Life, and there's a lot more manufacturers and distributors out there that sell lithium iron phosphate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and friendly comments below the description. This has been my opinion and my opinion alone. I would recommend going to the websites of the different manufacturers to check all this bit uh, information I'm trying to share with you, okay? So I've been comparing the Jackery Explorer 1000 portable power station, battery chemistry, and cycle life. Thanks for watching RV and Travel Adventures. Again, don't forget to check out the different websites. Go there and check out what they have to say. Do your research before you spend $1,000. I know a lot of people out there saying this is the best thing since sliced bread. It's up to you to decide if you want to spend $1,000. From Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios. Bye-bye.